Stevie. I guess that's the comfort pick. He hates himself. He absolutely hates himself. Okay, but he can inhale up, <laughs> and I think that's what counts. Oh, oh. Yeah, he wins the matchup. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just kidding. High Man has been going DDD like almost like the past month or so. So I'm not surprised by the DDD pick here. Uh, he has been playing Lucario too, but you know, DDD has tried and true main all the way back from Smash 4. And all you know, all joking aside, I, I think this is probably one of those harder, like near impossible matchups in this game. Like, yeah, but I mean, his, what his alternative is Lucario. I can't imagine that's much better. Exactly. Oh yeah, so just just for a matchup note, the way Inhale will interact with grenades, when he throws the grenades as a projectile, uh, he'll spin them back out as a projectile. When they're sitting on the ground, DDD will get that explosion animation. Drag down up air to up tilt. Oh, okay. And that's interesting to note about uh, the matchup. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not know where the C4 was. It, but, never. Yeah. I've never once in my life. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, something DDD does have going for him though. Uh, super heavy, so... You know, he can tank trades with Snake and, you know, live even longer than him. Amazing survivability, so if you don't blast on him, he's going to make it back likely. Uh, armor on the upbeat to get past Nikita at times. And then, you know, he just has, he has like five or six jumps, whatever. It is. Yeah. So, you know, he can actually get up there early and like challenge Snake's high recovery at times. Yeah, I like how he's staying high because, uh, well, C4 will catch him. But, you know, Snake likes killing him with the up tilt, Snake lights killing with grounded confirmed if you stay up high he can't hit you up tilt. exactly oh my gosh getting the neutral tech with f smash all right uh, now both these characters are gonna struggle to get off the ledge uh both of them really good ledge trappers with not the best options for escaping ledge themselves so you know very advantage state heavy in neutral, they're both just getting hit and living forever because they're both super heavy. And <laughs> the, the inhale uh, star hitbox actually triggering that grenade. Oh, another C4. Yeah, that's a second C4 kill, so. Kills DDD at 120 mid stage. Yeah, Iron Man. Oh, wow. That was, that was, that was not the DI you want. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> Some UTD DI. <laughs> uh, no, nothing against them. Thanks for coming out, UTD. We love you. They're out in full force. Keto, Orex, Bomb Happy, J Rex, Ryan is the other one? Or yeah, yeah. Ryan. Alright. Just throwing the projectiles out here. Uh, Gordo's kind of weird. Like, um, it, It's like a decent option. You know, it can protect you at times, but. You know, Snake has two grenades. He has the up smash. Like. He can produce a lot more uh, hitboxes than DDD can. And, you know, the one that DDD can produce, like, it can get knocked back at him. So, you know, Snake definitely will win the zoning battle. Yeah, well, but the soft hitting grenade doesn't send it back, right? Oh, uh, no, it, no, it doesn't. Does. Like, yeah, if he just throws it and has that very weak hitbox, it won't send it back. But, uh, yeah, up tilt. Taking yeah. that last dog. He was looking pretty close, but then suddenly Akito got some stuff going. DDD doesn't... He, he can jump around, but he doesn't really have a solid way down. Doesn't have the best landing hitboxes. Doesn't have air mobility. Yeah, exactly. Like, he can, you know, he can stall with the jumps, but, you know, that can only get you so far when you don't have to... come the, down eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when you don't have the mobility to actually, like, mix up where you're landing that far, cover a lot of ground. So Akito definitely taking advantage of that. Uh, now, if Iron Man uh, does a little bit more of a careful job, like just scouting out where the C4s are, he can avoid a lot of these early kills where he he's like running into the C4 and uh, you know not shielding in time. Yeah, I also think he got a little a little too happy uh, against projectiles. It's like sometimes you don't need to directly counterplay projectiles. You need to wait for the right time to do it. And he was trying to do something about every grenade, looking for all the inhales he could, looking for all the openings to land he could. Sometimes you just gotta wait, and I think he got a little over happy with that on the last stop. Yeah. A little bit of a spot dodge battle there, and Hyman wins out. And uh, on town and city, um, big blast zones, they're gonna live very long. Uh, just a, a lot of real estate, a lot of acres, as D1 would call it, to play around with zoning. Yeah. Uh, you know, lay your projectile traps, all that. 
helps them get around some of the snake stuff too. And I think overall the blast zones will probably benefit DDD more. You'll live up to a little bit longer. DDD's back air kills off the side. Oh my gosh. Which up air also sort of kills off the side. The armor going away and getting caught by the up smash. Keto almost at kill percent. Um, you know, DDD, it, it doesn't really have the strongest, you know, kill, uh, kill potential. Uh, he kind of just gets all his damage by ledge trapping and then, you know, eventually something will kill. But I mean, you know, he can still land like a good back air every now and then. Oh my gosh, Akito is having this amazing advantage state. Just getting it higher to almost 100 already. Yeah, just explosion after explosion for the moment. Yeah. DD being such a, a big target, you know, it, it's so hard for him to avoid a lot of the hitboxes Snake can put out. You know, not, not that fast either, so... It can just be tough for him. All right, the platform kind of messing up that nair. Oh man, he he caught him. He Akito just straight up caught him Ooh. pressing buttons there, dropped the C4 straight through. <laughs> Dribbling the grenade, and you know I think that C4 would have actually killed on PS2, but we're on town. Ohio man getting another lease on life. Oh, he might be sticky. Yep, he is. Oh, parry up to very nice. Oh and god, does he know? He okay. He either, he, knew. he either knew or reacted to that audio cue. Uh, shout out to Grace and Lori. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, and Gr Nate saved him there. Yeah, but now we all know he can't get grabbed again or down throw into up tilt will be true. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just up tilting the shield. Uh, yeah, not wanting to go for the grab right there. <laughs> He's looking for armor cheese. Here comes the Nikita. Oh my gosh, barely uh, getting away from that up tilt. I was actually very lucky for my man. Oh, he challenges the jet hammer, gets hit by the armor. I remember when High Man said that move was bad. <laughs> I'll bring that up every time. Wow, and he's got Akito in the corner now. Akito's struggling to find a way back. B reverse. Mm -hmm. Oh, grab. Yep. Grab into up tilt. All reliable. I think that's especially useful against heavies. Because, you know, if Snake's fighting like a Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff's not gonna really live that long in the first place, but yeah. against heavies where they can tank everything, you, you don't sort let of live to 200. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Iman's actually brought this a lot closer back to even. Looking shaky for a while, but yeah, and this has been a pretty long game as well. Uh, almost down to three and a half minutes. Uh, just a lot of you know patient play. Uh, you know, figuring out your way around the maze uh, of the, the projectiles. So. You know, you definitely can't just go in, you know, balls to the wall. You you definitely have to slow down a little bit. <laughs> shield poke, or shield poke, or he dropped shield early. That move can be annoying to punish. Like, it's not safe at all, but... You can also catch <laughs> sneaky shield breaks. Exactly. Trying to find a way down. Ooh, yeah. up tilt. Not going to kill him, though. Meaty back air. Oh, and reading the roll? Wow. Okay, he has him at the ledge. This is where DD thrives. Just okay. misses the neutral get up. I don't think that would have killed though. Yeah. Might kill now though. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. The Gordo just staying very active. Like, anytime a Gordo hits something, the hitbox refreshes so it can hit again. Uh, so, something you have to keep in mind when it's, it's like bouncing off of Nikita and Grenade, but. Just hit Nikita. Yeah, hold this <laughs> care package from the, the US military. Yeah, but good stuff to Akito. Yeah. Just kind of held on to his leads where he needed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good effort from Highwayman, but uh, yeah, Akito just, um, yeah, it, it, he just had a lot of control over it, oh, oh, like over the pace of the match. Uh, you know, not a not a very good matchup for DDD, all that, and uh, you know, just playing very smart, not you know, getting. <laughs> They're both looking at him. Oh, I'm on stream. I was gonna, I was gonna let you finish your thought. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Cheeks is on stream, so he's gonna be leaving us.